pain and increasing trouble. That was a manual audit process. After introduction of computers, after introduction of internet, we are doing black, black and white monitors, very small monitor. 86 computer was there. I could recall when I was doing my articles for chartered accountants course. So we were working on 386 computers with the softwares like Lotus. Is that clear? So Lotus had been replaced by Tally, Tally ERP9. What we were doing on Tally that we were doing on Lotus. I could recall. That way, the languages like COBOL, Pascal, that have started the scenario of computers. Now there is tremendous advancement in operating systems like Linux. Is that clear? Languages like Java, C++. Okay. So they are making, creating a history in today's day for large scale corporates if you will see. Auditors were also forced to use computers. Now, if you, if you are going to become a chartered accountant in today's day, a course called as CSA is compulsory for you. CISA. It is giving you complete knowledge of computer software, practice, how to work on it, and then and then only you can become a statutory auditor. So, before getting certificate of practice for the candidate who had qualified with final course of chartered accountant, after completing CISA course only, he will get certificate. So he is forced for EDP audit. Electronic data processing has changed remarkably the speed of audit. Is that clear? The softwares like Tally, you will see. Any transaction you can check by sitting in chair on one click. F1, F2, F3, F4, F5. You have to check payments M5. If you have to check receipts, you have to enter receipts F6. Journal F4. You have to enter the date F2. This way. So once you have knowledge of that particular software, EDP audit will be an easy concept for you. Unless and until you have proper practice and proper understanding of it. So softwares like Excel, Advanced Excel, MS Office, they are helping a lot in this process of uh, completing an EDP audit. Two types of controls we have to discuss in today's lecture. First is general EDP control. The second is an EDP application control. What is general control? Number one, organizational control. So organization of an electronic data processing department. The employees working on it, their training, is that clear? Then, uh, Methodology used by that particular department while entering the data, while retrieving the data, security about the database which have been maintained in that particular system or server you can say. System development and maintenance control. Friends, in a CA final course there was one paper for us in which 100% knowledge about systems was given. System development life cycle. SDLC methodology. It is one of the steps system development and systems maintenance. Is that clear? So system development is what? Preparing a computer system or a program like application of any program for a specific use, customized use. Is that clear? That is the designing of an application. Designing of system is a big thing. I am talking about designing of an application, a particular program to enter the specific data on regular basis. That is designing of a program. Okay. So, application development and maintenance of the system. Is that, what is the maintenance to the system? The safeguard of the system, physical safeguard, law, proper, it is protected from dust, air, it is protected from rain or uh, any water damages or any catastrophic damages catastrophic means fire fire damages you can say or any intentional damages done by employees so what are the control set up there? is that clear? So that, is, that comes under system maintenance updating the systems with um, 
antivirus like quick will quick will is that clear? quick will is what part of maintenance system maintenance hardware controls what is hardware controls hardware inculcates all that instruments which comes under relating to computer the printer the cabling peripheral peripheral units uh, visual display unit for monitor okay all these comes under hardware your operating system hard disk so any issues relating to this comes under application uh, general controls that what is the system memory cache memory primary memory two types of storage is are main, uh, maintained in the computer system like primary storage and auxiliary storage auxiliary means secondary storage is that like if you connect a hard disk portable disk it will be an auxiliary storage and primary memory will be the hard disk which have been created into the computer system that is primary storage of the system so hardware controls are very important if the hardware is damaged the total data may get damaged access controls who can access to that particular system the best way to restrict the access is what how you restrict the access to your whatsapp or your mobile password is that clear password is the best access control clear many types of uh, methods nowadays are there like face login face login putting your passwords is that clear so we can reach all these are what access access so for every system there can be an access list access list authorizes a particular person to enter it or log in into a system so authorization by accessing list which are been already maintained in the computer system can provide access controls so any new person cannot intrude in the system unless and until he has proper permission unless and until he has been named properly permitted properly in the systems uh, memory then data and procedure of controls what is data control every day frequently we are inserting inputs to the computer system once it is input is given it is stored in the computer's memory is that clear the best way to maintain data control is to take a backup so in some another auxiliary storage like hard disk portable disk you can take backup and you can put there so even if there is any catastrophic damage does damage any kind of damage physical damage to the system your data will remain safe is that clear? so that is data and procedural control then you will see application control application consists of relating to software first is input second is processing third is output and last one is master file control input controls contains for example check digits whether input is going correct or not is that clear batch totals whether they are coming correct or not these are the methods of applying input controls like check digits batch totals hash totals hash totals and validity checks whether input provided to the system is valid or invalid that is checked by validity checks so they are separate programs designed for the purpose of taking correctness of the system for input controls clear processing controls so what is processing control once we provide a command to keyboard is that clear data input is given to the system it start processing friends two things are there within a computer system two very important peripherals i will tell you one is cu and second is alu cu is control unit control unit of the computer system controls the entire operations with the help of an operating system what is going on what input what is processing what is output and alu is arithmetic logic unit it performs mathematical calculations is that clear that is the function of arithmetic logic unit so two things control unit and arithmetic logic unit processing controls can be adopted for example control totals total of one row 
you can take whether it is correct or not, that is control totals. Logic tests can be performed when you are inputting the data and processing is going on. With logic tests, it can be found out whether the processing is going in the correct direction or not. And completeness test, whatever input is provided, whether it is complete or incomplete, that is given by completeness test. These are processing controls. Then comes output controls. Now you tell me, what is an output? Output. output is the result of output input. Output is the result of input. I am asking example. Where you can find output? Sir, print. So print. When you text a print, it is an output. Correct answer. Not only print, but also if you see it on visual display unit of your computer system. On the screen, if you will see, then also it becomes an output. If you text print of it, it becomes an output. Once you transfer it to somewhere, it also becomes an output. So what are the output controls? Whether it is coming correct or not, that is what one of the application controls. Master file control. At the inception of the lecture, I told you, when you are inserting the data with inputs, it is always 